With the back markers leaving at 6 a.m., the first of the elapsed time paddlers off was the women at 10.30. Tamika Hall and Christy McKenzie shadowed each other for the early parts of the race, and it was always going to be a two-horse race between these two world-class athletes. Behind them, Andy Burke had started with a five-minute lead over Spornello Quella, and there in the distance in third, Tulani and Bunchwa was hunting the last spot on the podium. Burkett raced flawlessly during the day. Quella's challenge, however, came unstuck early on when he took a brief swim at the start of Top's Needle Rapid. Luckily, he recovered and managed to lose no more than a minute. His charge came going over Burma Road, where he managed to convert a five and a half minute deficit into a one minute 45 lead for Burkett. Burkett, however, didn't know that the charging Quella was on his tail. He kept his head down, stuck to his own race plan, and won his ninth. FNB Doozy Canoe title. That's nine out of ten starts. Behind him is Spent Quella, wrapped up second, and Chulani and Banjwa the third. But for the crowd that gathered at Blue Lagoon, the spectacle that kept them in thrall throughout the final day was the classic showdown between Christy McKenzie and Tamika Hall. The race came down to a sprint, and on the way into Durban, Christy McKenzie went to the front and never relinquished that to make her the youngest winner of the women's FNB Doozy Canoe title.